Hello YouTube, today I'm in Kerbal Space Program and in this video I'm going to take you through the process of rendezvous. So rendezvous is basically how you get uh, two crafts close together, uh, close enough that you'd probably be able to dock afterwards and I'll have a tutorial on that straight after this one. But basically that's what we're going to do today and uh, first of all we're going to have a look in our map view. So you can see we're on a ship here called Docking 1 and there's Docking 2 here and their orbits aren't perfectly aligned or anything but uh, they are fairly close to each other in their orbits and that's what you want to do. You basically want to get them in a similar orbit. It doesn't have to be perfect but a similar orbit and then we can start doing what I'm going to do. So the first thing is setting the other one you want to dock with as your target and then you're going to need to time warp to whichever of your ascending or descending nodes is next. So you can see this is my descending node here, my ascending node is there and uh, if we are going to our descending node we need to burn north or uh, basically if we look and we make a maneuver we need to burn in that direction so that we can actually get our inclination closer to what the inclination is of our target. Now obviously if you're in a nearly equatorial orbit anyway then you're going to want to burn north so I'm not going to bother using a node for that I'm just going to have a look at my maneuver node as I do this and I'll go into this view as well and I'm going to have to activate that engine and I can burn as long as you're near your descending node it's okay and I'm just going to burn until that goes down and get it so you know when this starts to spin around that usually means it's pretty close and if it's you know 0 0.1 that's absolutely fine if you want you can fine tune it get it even closer which means it'll be a bit closer you know your ships will be closer in the end but I'm not going to worry too much about that so the next thing we want to do is think about how you know how long it's going to take us to get to an, a place where we can actually encounter our other rocket. Now we're on a, an orbit that is actually smaller than the orbit of what we want to dock with, which means that we need to get all the way around so that we're coming almost just up behind it. So I'm actually going to time warp till we're, you know, maybe a quarter of an orbit behind it, maybe even a bit closer, and uh, we'll go from there. So once uh, we've caught up or gotten to a place where we're going to be uh, somewhere near where we can make an encounter or like a close approach essentially to our target. We're going to make a maneuver node. You can work out how close you need to be in things just by trying a maneuver node like this. And then we're going to go like that, drag the prograde icon until we get an intersect. And it says the separation of that intersect will be 2.1 kilometers. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to go for that. And it says that's going to take 20 meters a second of delta V. So there we go. We found that on the nav pole. And now all I have to do is uh, time warp until we get there and that's only going to be a couple of seconds of burn time so we don't really have to worry too much about that. I'm actually going to get rid of that maneuver node and do the burn manually now to make the really fine adjustments that we might need to make and there we go that's our intersect and you'll see that will go down as we keep burning prograde 3.8, 1.1 and that's up to 2.2 again so we can afford to actually burn a little bit more sort of retrograde um, to bring that down as low as we can and there we go we've got that down to 1.3 now obviously if you're in the craft that's on the outside and you want to dock to the one that's on the inside you're going to need to do it slightly differently basically you're going to need to be slightly ahead of the craft that you want to dock with um, and make that maneuver node but in the end you'll end up with this, the same kind of encounter and from there what we're going to actually do is um, we can go out of the map view because we don't really need that anymore and well, in fact we may as well go back to it and time warp till we get a bit closer till we get to that closest approach or near enough and uh, once we're there we're going to look on our nav pole make sure it's in target mode you can change it by clicking on the mode and then we're going to burn retrograde in target mode and you'll see that go number go down there we want to keep that um, well we want to get it down to zero basically to start off with uh, so, I'll just burn a little bit more. Oh, overdid it a bit. You can actually, um, if you right click on the engine, change the thrust limiter to something a bit lower to make this a bit easier to do. And there we go. So now our relative velocities are pretty much equal. Now we need to point to um, the pink marker here, the one with the circle. And that is basically pointing towards our target. Now we need to increase our velocity to our target and actually try and sort of drag our prograde marker so that it's actually on our target marker. And we can burn maybe get six something meters a second up and then we can time warp till we get a bit closer. Now is also a good time to quick save just because you can. And there we go. We'll see how close we get 
and then we're going to get rid of all our um, relative velocity again. Once you're within maybe a, a kilometer to 500 meters, that's when you're going to start looking at docking or things like that. And we'll cover that in the next tutorial. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We just need to burn retrograde, get rid of all that last bit of target velocity. And that there we go. We have a rendezvous with our target. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video, as always. And uh, if you did, then it would be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up or a favorite. If you have any suggestions or questions, then please leave a comment down below, and as always, have a nice day.